Hey guys, it's Rill again and welcome back to door number 7 of my Christmas giveaway advent calendar. Let's fly up into this room and let's have a look what we can find in there. And here we have some like old school type of living room. There's a very old lamp, an old picture and whoever this belongs to apparently was in Mexico. He has a little sombrero on top and some drinks. And yeah, pretty simple little room. So let's simply sit down and have a look at today's unboxing and trade-up contract. So here we go, let's see if I can improve my luck from yesterday's episode, which was pretty bad. Um, I got the Sword of Kraken from the trade-up contract, so let's simply jump right ahead and open some fashion cases. Um, yeah, we had a nice little living room today, and as I said, there was a little nice sombrero on top. And today I want to talk about a topic um, that doesn't affect me at the moment at all, and that is maybe some holidays. Um, I would like to know where you are from and what was like your farthest um, holiday trip that you have ever done. So I'm from Germany and the farthest I've been away, I think I've never really been out of Europe. Um, the farthest I've ever been away from home was um, when I visited the Canary Islands. Um, I've been to three islands actually, I've been to, the first one was Lanzarote I think, then I've been to Gran Canaria and then to Fuerteventura. Um, those happened like three consecutive years. Um, and I went there after Christmas, so between Christmas and New Year's Eve. No, actually, um, uh, on top of New Year's Eve, because I celebrated New Year's Eve on these, on these islands. Um, technically, these islands belong to Spain, but if you look at them geographically, um, they kind of belong to Africa, I'd say. They're like in the, in the middle of Africa on the west coast. So I'm not quite sure if I can say that I've been to Africa, since those islands belong to Spain. But yeah, that's, at least for me, that's the farthest I've, I've ever been away from home. And yeah, otherwise I've been to Italy, Spain, Portugal, uh, the United Kingdom, but I've never been really far away, like to Asia, America or somewhere else. So, um, yeah, where are you from and what has been your, yeah, your farthest trip or maybe the nicest trip? Maybe you can tell some stories where you've been and what awesome places you have visited in your life so far. And maybe some of you are actually going to go to holiday after Christmas this year. Um, I don't have time to make any holidays at the moment, but maybe some of you guys are lucky enough to visit some nice places. And I just missed a Star Trek P250 Supernova. That kind of sucks. But yeah, um, I doubt that I will travel anywhere within the next one or two years because I'm pretty busy and don't really have time to make holidays. But, yeah, traveling is a lot of fun. Um, the trips to the Canary Islands have been awesome. Like, it's awesome when, in, like in Germany, um, when it's December, it's really cold. I know in Australia, people are celebrating um, in, like, in it's summer in Australia currently, which is, yeah, that's <laughs> kind of messed up. Um, yeah, like, like for the people from the northern, like, hemisphere, um, they would really like to celebrate Christmas where it's warm and I guess the Australian people would really love to see some snow when it's Christmas but yeah you cannot have it both at the same time obviously yeah let's move on to the dragon or trade-up attempt yesterday it didn't turn out too good I got a sword of the Kraken which is probably one of the worst skins that I could have gotten and then I really have to be careful with what weapons I pick, because once again, some of these are not tradable yet. And if I throw in one skin in there that is not tradable at the moment, that means that the skin that I get from the trade up is also not going to be tradable. So let me check. Um, let's go maybe use PS Orion. And once again, I've been stupid and messed it up. It's the 7th of December, so that'll be the night. There you go, and uh, let's do that, and let's see, maybe another Cayman or USPS Orion, uh, let's just go with the Orion, and then the last skin has to be, let's see, there's a Cayman, I actually want to put in one of those fold plays, but I think none of these are tradable, since I just bought all of these from the market. No, they're not. All right, then let's just go for another Glock Water Elemental and let's hope for the best. 
Knight is in slot number seven. And so let's smash seven. <clears throat> okay, come on, please. Give me something good. Like the pressure is um, increasing in my head when it comes to the D loss. I really want one. Come on, please. AWP, AWP, AWP. Oh my god, the M4A4 X-ray. That's almost as bad as the Sword of the Kraken. And I think I only put in one skin that could that could have gotten me the X-ray, and that was the Orb. Um, what is it called? Orb Electric Hive that I put in the second slot. So I had a 10% chance to get the M4A4 X-ray, same chance to get the Dragon Lore. That was pretty unlucky. Once again, I should say it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but well, someone is going to get those skins for free. So, yeah, some free skins. You shouldn't be too sad about that. Uh, come on, Gaben, it's Christmas time. Give me something. I'm not even going to keep anything of that for myself. So please give, give something good for the viewers at least. Nothing from the case, once again. Nothing but shit from the trade-up contracts so far. So please... Within the next like three or four days, give me something good, something awesome to give away. That has been a nightmare so far. But yeah, the hope dies um, on the 24th, so there's still plenty of days to come. So wish me luck, or wish yourself luck, because you are the guys that are gonna get these skins. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode.